Hello, class 9th physics, work energy and power numericals. A body is pushed horizontally on a floor with a force 155 Newton and body moves a distance 4 meter along the direction of force. Find work done. So commonly, what will you do? You will write the formula work done W equal to force multiplied by displacement and you will put the value and you will get the answer. But actually this question is incomplete. They must have to write work done by what? By whom? work done by the applied force because there can be a frictional force there there is gravitational force also so they must specify but okay that is why uh, that is the thing which i want to clarify that most of the time you just go to see force and okay one more thing distance is uh, mentioned here but along the direction of force so it means uh, it is along a straight line and that is why this is distance but because uh, that distance is same as displacement in this case because it is along the direction of force and direction of force must be a straight way uh, in a straight line so that is why it is said distance but it should be taken as displacement because of straightness so but the major problem with this question i am not going to do this question because it is an in incomplete question work done the original question must be work done by the applied force or work done by gravitational force or work done by frictional force so it is incomplete question in such a cases if such question comes in your exams you can say question is incomplete work done by which force it is not mentioned there so i am writing it incomplete question now same question i have rewritten here a body is pushed horizontally on a floor with a force 155 newton there is a frictional force 100 newton body moves a distance 4 meter along the direction of force find work done by applied force by frictional force so a part w by applied force i am writing ap af applied force so that will be f applied multiplied by displacement so force is 155 multiplied by displacement is 4 meter when we will multiply both of them it will give the value 620 isn't it Six, 620 yeah of course 620 joule now here work done by frictional force ff so we know that frictional force acts opposite to the direction of uh, applied force or uh, moving object so minus we have to put minus frictional force multiplied by displacement displacement will remain same so there will be minus 100 multiplied by 4 that is minus 400 joule okay here one more thing i want to say that if they say they mention here that uh, the floor is frictionless yeah of course then it must be then the work done you can say now uh, there is no frictional force so you can find the work but still there is a gravitational force also so again you are eligible to argue that it is an incomplete question so while calculating work done you must be assured about the force related to that work now like in this question weightlifter lifts 80 kg up to a height 1.25 meter find work done so here first we have to find force so force will be equal to mg so mass is 80 kg and g given here 10 so it is easy to put 10 actually value of g is 9.8 so now it is 800 newton all right so now find work done once again it is an incomplete question so we can't do anything but right now because i haven't written its correct form here uh, so i am correcting it here so let us suppose your teacher gives this question as a work done by weightlifter i am just writing wl and b work done by gravitation okay this short form gravitation so a part and b part a part is w work done by weightlifter is equal to force applied by weightlifter into this height will be considered as displacement so here force is 800 multiplied by 1.25 so it will be uh, this much joule and uh, in the same way if we talk about gravitational work done then see that weight lifter lifting this load 
in this way or whatever but this case is related to this uh, weightlifter is applying force upward and displacement is also taking place in upward direction but gravitational force is acting downward and displacement is taking place by any means but displacement is taking place in upward direction so we will put first negative then weight gravitational force is equal to weight it will remain same um, i have to first write f g gravitational force and multiplied by displacement then i can put <coughs> minus 800 I, we know that 1.25 so it is minus 1000 joule so be very very sure that uh, which force is doing the work now in this question well uh, don't argue with me that uh, given data is uh, wrong i have assumed this question but uh, in the same way you can find original values of uh, train engine ta train wagons and all that so now uh, here uh, engine is this much massive 20 wagons each of mass this one means cars of train and uh, passenger and good this much mass and speed decrease from here to here find work done by frictional force there is no force given no displacement is given so how can we solve this maybe you are thinking about uh, we can find acceleration from somewhere here and also displacement uh, this can be done but it will take too very much time too long to solve this first we will calculate mass so that is 10,000 plus 20 into 5,000 plus 50,000 I don't know if it is true or not but yeah of course I'm doing it so it will be 1,60,000 kg and uh, there is some initial velocity we can do one thing we can find acceleration then f equal to ma we can find f and uh, then again by equation of motion we can find displacement and thereafter we can find the work done you can go for it no problem but i have a different idea for that initial velocity is 108 kilometer per hour kilometer per hour i'm writing it like this 800 108 kilometer upon r and now I'm going to convert it into meter per second. 1000 meter upon 60 into 60 second. So finally, if you will solve this, it will come out to be 30, kil uh, 30 meter per second. And final velocity is 72 kilometer per hour. So 72 kilometer upon hour. I uh, see uh, most of the time you people do 5 by 18 and all that. Yeah, that's also uh, you can do. Uh, but here I am explaining each and everything so therefore I am going with this much extension so it is 20 meter per second and now using work energy theorem theorem work done is equal to change in kinetic energy final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy final kinetic energy half m v square minus initial kinetic energy half m u square half m common v square minus u square so it will be half m is one six zero 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 and v square v square is 30 square uh, i'm directly writing 900 minus 20 square 400 mm, we cut it it will be 80 thousand multiplied by 500 so you can multiply it and that will be the answer in joules and uh, next question a ball of mass 500 gram is related to this question dropped from a height 10 meter okay first of all convert this mass into kg 500 gram that is 500 upon 1000 now it is in kg so that will be 0 0.5 kg height is given that is displacement i will write s as displacement 10 meter find potential energy mm. oh mm, very fast i did it potential energy at that position at that point total energy at that point where it is placed right now i'm talking about that so we know uh, it will have gravitational potential energy so that potential energy is totally gravitational potential energy so it has formula mgh m is given 0 0.5 g uh, not mentioned here we can take 9.8 or 10 whatever uh, because if not nothing is mentioned then you can take as per your convenience so it will be 50 joule total energy we know that uh, at when uh, that object is placed uh, that object is dropped from a height 
okay so at the top end it was dropped at that instant it wasn't in any speed so it wasn't having any kinetic energy you can see like this so it means its kinetic energy initially was zero so total energy was just the potential energy so total energy will be 50 joule or we can say total energy at the top equal to kinetic energy at the top plus potential energy at the top kinetic energy is zero potential energy is 50 so 50 joule is the answer total energy at the top and then kinetic energy if it is when it is dropped and about to reach the ground uh, so it was dropped yeah and when it was about to hit the ground about to reach the ground what will be its kinetic energy so by conservation of energy now its potential energy will become zero nearly zero and its kinetic energy will rise up so we can in short say that uh, potential energy at the top will become kinetic energy at the bottom when it was just about to reach the ground because when it will strike the ground all its energy will um, be lost in that uh, impact it will convert into sound and heat energy and all that and that energy will be lost so we can't find that but when it was about to reach then all the potential energy it had earlier will be converted into kinetic energy so kinetic energy at the bottom will also be equal to 50 joule so here uh, for first part we have to do calculation and rest of the part we can solve by just reasoning now a machine can do uh, 15,000 joule work in 5 seconds find its power or it, they can say that it dissipates energy or it gives out energy so its power power of delivering or power of energy consumption so whatever it is so we know power equal to work upon time so work is this much upon time so it will be 3000 joule oh sorry joule per second that is watt because the power is in watt now a water pump is rated at 1 kilowatt what does it mean so actually 1 kilowatt um, the definition of 1 kilowatt is asked here so we know that 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watt and 1 watt is equal to 1 joule per second so 1000 watt will be equal to 1000 joule per second so 1 kilowatt means that work done by the pump is 1000 joule in each second or per second that's all and this is the ultimate question uh, in your house suppose devices a b and c are rated at 20 watt 2 kilowatt and 500 watt these are operated for 2 r 1 r 1.5 hours so whenever uh, power is given in watt and uh, time is given in r it is convenient to use uh, that commercial unit of energy so uh, there are three devices a b c so power of a is 20 watt power of b is 2 kilowatt and power of c is 500 watt time for a is 2 r time for b is 1 r and time for c is 1.5 r and we know as we know that power equal to energy upon time like work upon time so energy upon time so energy will be equal to power into time simple cross multiplication simple algebra so energy for first ea equal to pa into ta but here there is a problem it is not in kilowatt so we have to convert it into kilowatt and whenever we have to convert something into kilos divide by thousand now it is kilowatt i'm not doing other mathematics next step i will do 20 upon thousand multiplied by two you can cancel out and all the things so if you would solve it properly you will get this value and this is the answer in kilowatt r oh yeah now it is in sharp focus and uh, it is already given in kilowatt no need to change it so eb is equal to pb pb so two into one that is two kilowatt r and here ec pc tc so okay uh, we have to change it also 5500 now it will be in kilowatt when we divide it with 1000 so it will be 500 by 1000 multiplied by 1.5 so it will be okay it will get cancelled 0.5 will be there so it will be 0.75 kilowatt r 
now not much space is left in my paper and of course the second part is for you people to limit energy consumption which device you have to operate economically and why so out of these three which device you have to operate economically so answer it of your own write me in the comments and uh, if you have any any numerical or reasoning question based on um, this work energy power you can write me in the comment if you think it is very lengthier it is going very lengthier to write uh, that question in the comment you can uh, send me name of the book and uh, page number and i will uh, try to uh, give responses to your uh, question and make video on them that's all bye bye